Welcome back to What's the 401 Sports. I'm going to start off this segment by just asking a simple question. Why don't people want to play with LeBron James? Mike? Well, I think there's a few reasons. I mean, you know, one reason is is that, look, LeBron James has made the NBA Finals every season, right, since 2011. And I feel like when you're on a team where it's NBA Finals or bust, it almost takes some of the fun out of playing, right, because you have this high-pressure mentality. So there's no question that, the you know, the pressure is always on when you're playing with LeBron James. The other thing is that LeBron James has never been one to shy away from throwing his teammates and coaches under the bus, right? He's had a history of doing this throughout his whole career, uh, and, and the evidence is... It, it, it's proven. Um, but I think that it's easy to say people don't necessarily like playing with LeBron James. But what about, like, you go ask a guy like Mike Miller, who really resurrected his career by playing with the Miami Heat, where they won those two championships. I guarantee you that if you were to ask him, did you enjoy playing with LeBron James? Of course. The big thing with LeBron James is he makes his teammates better. I think that's the number one reason why he's the top player in the NBA, is because the other four guys that are on the court with him automatically become better players because LeBron can hit them when they're open. LeBron plays such good defense that he's going to find the open man when he makes a steal. He's very good on the fast break, despite the fact that he's getting up there in years. But I think also, you know, LeBron has never wanted to shy away from controversy, so there's always some drama that surrounds him. But I think it's easy to jump on him and say, people don't like LeBron. People don't want to necessarily play with LeBron. But that isn't the case. Remember how excited the Cleveland Cavs were, specifically Kevin Love, when he found out that he was going to be teaming up with LeBron James. Now, I know that kind of played out a little bit differently. They did wind up winning a championship together, but I think it's a mixed bag. I think that there are some players that would not want to play with LeBron. They don't want to be have that scrutiny, but then I think that there are guys that would definitely salivate at the, you know, the idea of, of teaming up with one of the greatest players of all time. LeBron is such a presence. I mean, he, he just, just because of who he is, he's just otherworldly talented, and he is a superstar and a uber superstar if you just want to put it even higher and in a league that is driven by stars what he wants he's going to get people are going to cater to him even magic johnson and company at the lakers they're going to make sure that lebron james is happy we, when they were courting him magic johnson showed up i mean at least i think an hour earlier sir so before he was going to meet LeBron James because he knew it was that important that he didn't miss that opportunity to um, meet with him and talk to him and convince him to join the Lakers. Now, I think that if you are a star and a superstar in your own right, it becomes difficult to play with LeBron because it's, it's not going to be your team. And, you know, there's, there's ego involved. There's my cheese mode, like, I'm, I'm just as good as you. In theory, why can't I get this? Why can't this be my team? Why am I automatically pushed aside? So I think that's why you have people like Kyrie Irving and maybe Kawhi Leonard, Jimmy Butler, stars and superstars in their own right who don't want to be part of the LeBron James show right? because they're going to be the supporting cast. And when I was reading some you know articles, one thing that somebody said was that in order to play with LeBron James, you have to specialize in something. You have to suppress some parts of your game to fit in with him. And what that does for you long term, who knows? You know, if you don't use it, you lose it, I guess.